What's up guys? Tony Rican here and today I'm gonna throw down with a great little finger food I know you're gonna love. I'm gonna make some loaded mashed potato cheese sticks. And you know exactly what these are, don't you? That's right, these are awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Before I start, I gotta ask, have you checked out my Patreon yet? I mean, subscribing for even one dollar completely helps me put out all this awesome content. So head on over, click the link below, check it out, and consider jumping on as one of my patrons. With that part out of the way, let's jump into the recipe. Now, like everything I make, this one's really super simple. All you're gonna do is go ahead and start by peeling and cubing your potatoes. I went ahead, dropped those in some boiling water and let them go for about 20 minutes. Now, they're nice and hot, they're nice and soft, and we're ready to start getting them going. So I've got my cubed potatoes here. I'm gonna take my uh, sour cream, my bacon. Then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna dice a little bit of green onion, take some salt and pepper, add that in there, and mash that all up. Once my mashed potatoes mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and start making my cheese sticks. Now I've got a giant block of cheddar. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into some nice uh, thin sticks. Now, after I was done cutting all my cheese into nice little sticks, I let those potatoes cool down a little bit as I heated up some oil. I'm heating this up to about 350 degrees. I've got a nice little single basket fryer. You could do this on the stove top in a uh, like cast iron skillet. Just make sure you let that oil get nice and hot because you want to end up frying this in oil, not soaking it. The reason I let that, uh, those mashed potatoes cool down a little bit is I'm going to take a nice little ball of mashed potatoes and form it around my cheese sticks. And after I got that cheese stick totally coated, I'm gonna go ahead and run it through my flour, through my egg, then my panko breadcrumbs. And then when they're all done, I'll drop those in the fryer and let them go for a couple minutes till they're a nice golden brown. that little bit of fry time, these guys are done. Just take a look at how they came out. They look awesome. My cheese is all nice and melty in there. They're nice golden brown and crisp, but you know, I can't just look at these. I gotta grab one and just go ahead and dig right in. Thanks, Ted. What? Hep. Okay, I gotta grab one and just dig right in. These are freaking awesome. You guys are gonna love them. So go ahead, like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete step-by-step -step printable instructions, check out averageguygourmet.com. Head over to my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even $1. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.